We just keep running and running and running in circles. Around and around we go, hoping for change, repeating the same ideas over and over and over again, expecting a different outcome. But we just keep running and running and running in circles. What will it take for us to stop? What, what will, will it take, take to, to save, save us? us? So it's a week before the show, and though I know in my heart that everything will work out, it seems pretty impossible. The set hasn't been finished, costumes are still being made, people are still learning the choreography, and the flu has taken out half my cast and production team. When venting to a friend outside the production, they tried to console me by saying, hey, it's not like you're curing cancer or anything. I found myself getting defensive. How is what I chose to do with my life following my passion, my purpose, lesser than that of a doctor or a lawyer. It got me thinking about who and what we value in our society. We are in a complicated place right now, filled with uncertainty. Jobs are being replaced by robots and computers. Gone are the days of working with a team face to face. And outside the workplace, we are more divided and afraid of each other than ever. We just keep going around and around in circles. And though it seems like a lot has changed, in actuality, very little has. We have lost what it means to be human and to really connect with one another. Creativity is an integral part of what it means to be a human being. We're all born as creative individuals. As children, we play in order to learn and make meaning of the world around us. But we lose that as we get older. Our creativity begins to diminish because we're not actively engaging our creative selves, which limits our ability to think outside the box, to connect with each other in deeper and more meaningful ways, and to open our minds to new things and fully embody who we are. Playing is not encouraged as adults. In fact, many times it's actually frowned upon. Pursuing a career in the creative and the performing arts is looked at as risky, self-indulgent, and dare I say, crazy. As a dancer, I think, see, and communicate through movement. My body is a vehicle through which I understand myself more deeply. It is how I see and make sense of the world around me. It allows me to connect with people, to understand them in a new way, to create community and support. My body is a vehicle through which I problem solve, explore new ideas, and think critically. The physical act of moving and being creative knows no boundaries, has no shape, has no size, no age, no gender, and no race. We all have access to the wisdom of our bodies. Our bodies are limitless. The arts allow us to see things in a new way, to make new connections and discoveries. The arts allow an individual to not only explore themselves, but also the world around them. The arts provide a safe space for people to follow their curiosities, to take risks and to fail, and to open their minds to diverse people, places, and philosophies. We are all artists at heart, even if we don't pursue our creative interests in a professional way. Tapping into that individual artistic self is something we so desperately need right now in this world. We are stuck as a society, led by leaders who are driven by their heads and who are perpetuating isolation. We are bombarded with what seems like new ideas, yet we just keep recycling the same ideas over and over and over again. We are drained, overworked, and exhausted. There is an increased level of uncertainty, and with uncertainty breeds fear and separation both in and out of the workplace. Research shows that people feel more fulfilled when they have a sense of purpose and engage in meaningful relationships. Employees have higher productivity rates and less turnover when they are engaged in their jobs. One of the ways that we find engagement and fulfillment is by accessing that creative self which allows us to be more innovative problem solvers and critical thinkers. 
The artists of our world have bravely followed their curiosities and have led with their hearts. They continue to shape our world by breaking down boundaries and demanding for others to wake up. The artists share the stories of the unseen people to evoke empathy. They talk about the issues that others are too afraid to address. They create a safe space for entertainment and reflection. And they inspire others to go live their dreams and to think daringly and creatively. Without creativity, there is no innovation. Without innovation, there is no hope for change. So perhaps it's maybe crazy to think, but maybe the space that we create and the experiences that we create as artists can open pathways to new ideas and breakthroughs and discoveries. It's not too daring to think that someone in our audience could get inspired by something we do on stage that then leads to the cure for cancer. Or that a story we so bravely share gets two deeply divided groups to finally stop and start listening to each other. Perhaps if we all reaccessed our creative selves, awakened our artists within, and embodied our ability to be playful and curious in both thoughts and actions, we could save the world together. <laughs>